Uh, hello, this is David Birch at Star Path School of Navigation. Uh, I have just made several videos on the use of charts, loading charts and bitmap, I mean, um, base maps and so forth, but realize that I need one really quick start uh, instructions uh, so, so somebody or our students uh, in particular can get started on uh, viewing charts in OpenCPN. So we have, um, I made an article that's online about with these links and steps in it, but I'm going to show the process right now. This is just to immediately get started the quickest possible way. And so um, for, uh, and that would be equivalent to the, the video called Manual Download that's in the series but right now what we want to do is go to um, go to uh, your computer well here's what we do with our students we recommend you go to what well, this have to what we have to do you go here and download this is our training chart 18465 TR now that's a chart frozen in time 1990 or something like that and that's a chart we use uh, for the classes um, it's also a rather higher resolution than most charts, so it's a little bit bigger file. So you download that chart, and then you uh, put that chart, make a folder on your computer called My Charts, and this one's in the documents, My Charts, and you'll download a zip file. And when you unload that zip file, like if you just unload that, uh, it's going to make a folder like this, and inside these folders, three files. And that's the chart. And uh, so that we don't need. So that's all we need to do. You need to just get that chart into into something called uh, my my charts, and it'll be a it'll be a numbered chart like that, and inside it will be uh, three files. And that's it. That's all that has to be done. Now, if you are not one of our students using this course, you wouldn't want to do that necessarily. Use that chart, but what you could instead do: go to NOAA and go to uh, one of these, let's say you live in Florida, you could come down here in Florida and just pick a chart, let's say that chart. And that's here, and then you would just say um, RNC, click that, then go up here and click OK, and then download that to your folder. And that chart would, uh, uh, let's see, where is that going, my charts? Oh, OK, that's OK. So then I did that. So the, I did, there's one from our, our, our training chart, which is bigger and locked in. Ancient, it's outdated, way outdated, plus one real chart. And so once that's done, let's see, I still think I still have to go back here. Here's the one I just downloaded. So that's there. Oh, and when you, un, and this is explained in the manual, in the manual I download, that's going to unload, that's going to unzip to something called this. Then you unzip that one, and then you've got that. And that, let me just, uh, let me just uh, copy that. Okay, and go back. We'll just put that here, paste. Okay, and this stuff we don't need. You don't need the zipped files anymore. You just need, okay, so there we have two charts. We have our training chart and then some random chart in Florida that are there. That's done. Okay, so now we're done with that. We can go to OpenCPN. And you go to the wrench, everything starts in the wrench, then you hit the display, no, hit charts. And this will be empty, or it may have something in here if you've loaded other things in the past. So at this point, under chart files, you hit, that's it, uh, chart files, add directory, and then what we want is my charts. Uh, actually, I should go back one. My charts. I've got to go documents, my charts. You see, I want to highlight that file. When I've got, see, I've got two of them in there now, so I think I have to do that. And if it's if you're just doing one chart, then you could just hit that one and then put that in there. Or let me actually go back. Let me go back and say, here's our training chart, and say, OK. And so that's going to add the training chart. But then only that training chart's going to show up. So I could go in here if I want to and add the other one here. Add this guy. Whoop, that's add this guy in Florida. OK. So now these two charts are going to show up. And in principle, we're done. Um, but one thing that we know that makes it a little easier if you're looking find trying to find these charts for the first time, go into display 
turn off this for now. We're only looking at one chart at a time. And then, so disable, I mean, turn off chart quilting and show the chart outlines. That makes them a little easier to find. Then we come back and shut it off. Okay, apply. Okay, done. Now, oh, there's our chart right there. But if you had had your program set up like this, now, oh, look at that opposite ends of the country. That's it. Okay. So here you go. Here's the Florida chart that's here. And you see that the way red out outline helps there. And you won't see it till you zoom in a ways. It's there and it's going to work, but you're going to have to zoom in to some point there. Now you see at that level of zoom, there's the chart. Bang. You can click it and it opens. All right. So that works. Then we go up to our, ours up here. Ours up. Same thing. You see, well, our, actually, that's showing already. Oh, no, it's showing Florida. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, let me go back up here. Okay, let me go here now and zoom into this region here. Okay, there's our chart. Uh, which is our chart? That's Florida. Okay, here's our chart. So there it is, and uh, that's that. That's all I want to do now is get those charts in there. Later, we'll do things like do a navigation with these charts, load weather maps on top of them, do all kinds of stuff. But that's all I want to do for now.